Alright, hello! Welcome to a brand new mod pack. Whew, rough start. My mic wasn't working, but hello! We're standing here in a brand new world. Um, I do currently only have default textures on. Just giving you a heads up, I will be switching to probably to Faithful, as that's what I prefer. But, um, yeah, so we're here on a server from hosted by Breakfast Craft. You can see that there are several other people on right now. I wonder why I have such poor connection to the server. That's interesting. Anyway, we are going to start all the mods 3 expert mode. Yeah. So, the pack has a quest book. It's also gated progression. Um, I'm coming into this practically blind. I've not watched anyone play this. I've not learned, explored what mods are available, really. All I know is that it's an expert mode pack with questing that's likely to give us a hard time. <laughs> so with that, we're going to just get started. Um, spawn is over there. I did um, teleport somewhere that I'm going to enjoy living to get started. So I haven't done any like breaking of anything or anything. Nothing. Nothing's been done other than picking where I wanted to start. And I'm in front of a little cave here that hopefully is empty. It looks empty and it looks like a dead end too. I've got some ores here to deal with. Some coal. That'll be helpful. So I'm hoping to make this just like my hidey hole where I start. But we're going to, you know, open up the quest book and get going so that we can learn what we need to do. Because I have heard you can't just punch trees. So that's all I know. So let's learn a bit. Um, we have this lovely quest book here. I have no idea um, where to get started. But, um, yeah, first off, you'll find out that it really hurts your hand if you punch a tree. It is a tree, after all. You might want to find a less painful alternative. So we're going to make a flint pickaxe. To get flint, you know we need to find gravel to do that. Um, but it also needs a stick. Where do we get sticks from? What, what drops sticks, you think? Um, yeah, what drops sticks other than witches? Because there's no way in heck I want to deal with witches. I wonder if... Oh, and of course it's almost nighttime. Hopefully people sleep. I wonder if breaking leaves will give me sticks, like in previous packs. So, let's give that a try. Yes! Great! We got a stick. So, woo. A couple of sticks and a sapling. Fantastic. Okay, so that's how we get sticks. So we need to find some gravel. Yay, someone slept. Um, let's go down here. Hi, Comet Lore. Thanks, Owen. I think I caught your message about sticks a little too, too late. Uh, there are baddies somewhere nearby. All right, so we've got clay. Open some of these spots are gravel. There we go. Yay! Hi, Quist. Oh, let's stay above. I hear bad things. So many bad things I hear underneath me. Alright. How many flint do we have? Three. Well, that can get us what we need to get started. Um... A flint hatchet. There we go. We have ourselves a flint hatchet, which apparently would complete this quest. Um, yep, it did, didn't it? Yeah, because that's... 
these colors. It's hard to know if it's if it's done. I don't need to pin it. Anyway, the quest book will have a fairly standard progression line for you to follow. However, there will be multiple quests throughout the tiers that are optional but helpful. Quests in the shape of a circle are main progression quests. Quests in the shape of a diamond are optional quests. And quests in the shape of a square are informational quests. And quests in the shape of a gear are end of tier quests. Okay. All right, so this one's an informational quest because it's square and diamonds are optional. Great. Good to know. The quest book is divided into tiers of increasing progression. Save for tier zero, they all have multiple paths. You must travel down in order to arrive at the end goal for that tier. This is generally be a mix of magic and tech in the same tier. Good to know. Um, to prevent skipping progression, we have implemented game stages, which will restrict your access to certain dimensions until you've progressed to that point le legitly. Game stages is something that was used very, very popularly with um, Sevtech, I believe. Yeah, divided into your sounds so exactly. Very familiar. Ores generate differently than you may be used to. No more are the days of setting up a massive strip mine to get ores. Ores in the overworld will now generate on exposed stone, both underground, in caves, and on the surface. This is aimed at promoting exploration rather than boring and tedious mining. Ah, interesting. So that kind of means we must do caving because strip mining won't get us anything if because the stuff's not exposed already. Very interesting. Kind of glad I have a couple of caves around here then and clearly there's something directly underneath me here. Let's come out of the water. Oh, looks like they've got some clay, but that was is that mechanism. Yeah, we have mechanism in the pack. Looks like we have actually additions. Rustic. Um, I know we have Botania XL Food Mod. Uh, I haven't played with that since Exoria, I don't think. Um, what a, recurrent complex is in here? Thomcraft is in here. Thomcraft six. So yeah. All right, let's keep reading. While you explore the world, you may find all sorts of changes. The world is vast and diverse, so it is suggested that you explore, but be careful as you may find the monsters are just as tough as you remember. Yay. You know me and monsters. We don't get along. Woo. All right, so we're, we're, we're making good progress, I guess. Um, let's chop down a couple trees. I think that's probably the next run. Now that you have the proper tools, start out as many any minecrafter would get wood so we need 16 logs and 16 planks so let's hop up here um is this our starter mine no this is a different one this is a different cave okay and i don't want to start with a giant tree but i picked this seasonal forest because i really like the colors and um, I liked that it was next to a lush swamp, which also has a really vibrant grass if I wanted to do that area. And then we're near a magical forest because it's always pretty. So <laughs> that's kind of why I chose this area. Um, I haven't decided on any sort of build scheme. You know, I like to do some building. Um, I'm thinking trying my hand at futuristic. Um, I don't do that very often, but because of all the clean lines and um, that's all I want to do. The clean lines that Futuristic offers could make it easier on for building purposes. So yeah. Come on, give me, thank you. I wonder for the quest, this has to all be the same kind of wood. Hopefully not. Uh, 
Okay, so I got the logs. Great. I even got a persimmon out of that. That's awesome. Okay. Woo! Um, hmm. We've got satchels in here. We need some leather, some black ink, wool, ooh, linen. Oh, it says accepts any wool. Okay. Good, good. Which doesn't look like comes from sheep. It looks like we'll need to get into Atum 2. Unless I can get get it from sheep, which I'm not sure. We've got tinkers. Let's put that wood use. Make some tables to help you make better tools. Let's do that in our little hidey hole down here because why not? <laughs> All right. Um, boy, I haven't played a pack with tinkers in it in a while. So let's try and remember. I know we're going to need a crafting table. Um, let's put that there. And then we're going to need, that's not it, is it? It's, um, is it a log? Maybe it's the table and a log. <laughs> wow. Part builder, oh, we need parts, that's right. We need stencils. And are the stencils done with, um, of course, sticks. We need more, we've got sticks. We can do a couple. Great. And then this is the part builder. Do a second one of these. That's not going to be part of the tinkers area. Um, We need to do a pattern chest, which, yep, that's correct. Um, I'm assuming we can't see, yeah, I need to be able to, all right. And then the last thing it wanted was a tool station. That's where I got hung up. All right, so for now, there we go. That's everything. Great. Better tools. Woohoo! Better tools. We need more flint. <laughs> um, yeah. We don't have any, so we need to go back. We need to use up our gravel until we can get... Oh, this nighttime thing's gonna stink. Is the bed recipe normal? Yes. Alright, so the point of me playing this pack is I wanted something challenging. You know I have uh, really tried my best to learn tech and so the goal here is to just see how far I can get in here before I go, okay that's enough, I'm done. <laughs> Now I can craft flint. Oh, and thanks. The RNG of this is better than losing because I will eventually get a flint from gravel. And so instead of wasting gravel, I'm just going to keep mining it until I get what I need. Um, four might be all I need. I do need some more sticks because I'm going to need a couple more patterns. All right, so for patterns, um, I 
I'm missing the stencil table. Why wouldn't it ask you to make that as part of that quest? That seems a little odd. Okay, so which things are we making? Axe, shovel, pickaxe, and sword. Okay. Pickaxe, shovel, axe, sword. And then, of course, I can just do this. Um, I need more flint. I wonder how much more I need. Two and two. I need four more flint. One more. There we go. All right. Flint X and sword blade. Great, so that's done. We break into mason and baking and drying this way. Um, we might want to be making this soon if we can. Um, if we can get wool, we need to kill a bunch of cows. <laughs> I'd like to make sure I can kill cows to get leather in this pack. <laughs> yes, okay, <laughs> just making sure. Um, black dye, we can, we totally can do black dye, so we should be able to make that pretty easily. Mason. Uh, let's work on upgrading your flint tools. Start by collecting bone meal and clay to make unfired porcelain. Um, bone block structures generate throughout the world. Each block gives you that would be nice. If we'll have to do some exploring to do that, and this we're gonna need the yeah we're gonna need to make the porcelain to do this step anyway, aren't we? Oh, these are limestone. Oh. Compressed sand, so we need a bunch of sand and clay. <laughs> so we can totally do that. Sandstone we can do with more sand. These are just, okay, we can do those. All right. Great, so let's make these tools. We need, we've got two sticks. We need some more sticks and tool station. Oh, we need to make the bindings. Yeah, so we need to make more stencils. Okay. Wood bindings, <laughs> flint bindings. It's pretty much what we have for options wood or flint. Okay. Or do we have to turn these? We have to turn them into. You know, there's some packs that allow you to just use sticks. Some.
All right, so let's do this again. So we have a pickaxe. We already have a hatchet. So it might be smart to turn this into a mattock. And then we need a sword, which the sword's gonna need another pattern. So let's do this one first. All right, and then we need to do Oh, just a standard one. I never tend to do the other ones. I never pick to do any of the others. We just do the wide guard. Um, we probably want to do, we could do that out of flint for probably, okay, say, the, the, I say probably for everything today, don't I? Um. Oh, I didn't make the tool rod. All right. Hello? Okay. Alright, so we've got some crummy tools. And we're working, we need to get um, unfired porcelain, which is the bone meal and clay. So we need to go collect bone meal and clay. And while we're out there, we should find out about food and kill some cows, which will solve us with the food. Oh, there's a floaty. I don't like those. Floaty bit. I know I heard cows. Hmm. Down we go. We'll collect this clay that I know is here. Good thing to know bats drop leather too. I haven't seen any bats. Okay. We got over a stack here. We do need to find bone meal, and so that's going to require us to do a little bit of exploring. Um, which is fine, because we need to kill some sheep and some cows. Ooh, pitcher plant. We have a bucket. We've got endless. Are you guys going to aggro? Nope. Okay. Who knows? You never know. Oh no, I need leather, you silly. Okay. There's some leather. Alright, so let's keep an eye on what we need for leather for, for this. We need five. All right, there we go. We've got five, so now we need black dye, and since actually additions is in the pack, there are black flowers that we can find. It is now almost nighttime, which stinks. 
because I still can't sleep. Um, and look, there's another cave. We can get some coal, though. Make a few torches. Hey, Darkwing! Okay. Mm-hmm. I have now advanced in Stone Age. Yay. All right. So our choices are kill skeletons or, ex or explore the world a bit for um, the bone block structures that generate it, that it said it generates anyway. And we still need to find a sheep that will give over its wool. And here's one of the first of the black dyes. Cows, 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 cows. Lots of cows. There's another one for black dye. All right. Now we just need a sheep and we'll have a um, stuff for a satchel. And then, hello gaming grandma! Um, what are those? Koru. Okay. Hello froggies. Um... Look, there's sheep. There's one. Let's see if we can get enough for a bed also. All right, we did. We got enough for a satchel and a bed, and the only thing, other thing it needs is a chest, which we can get wood. So now we're at the point of exploring for bone block structures. Giant fossils, our home is right there. We don't want to go super far. See what we can see, right? And food, we need to probably smelt up this uh, meat. So let's get some cobble going. Congratulations, you've just officially become a dog of the military. Oh, thank you, gaming grandma. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for subscribing. Well, we got cyan sheep. Alright, let's get underground and... Well, not all the way underground, because, you know, I'm afraid of underground. But we need two more. There's more sheep, that's good. Two more cobble to make a furnace, and then... Um, we'll be good to go that way. Kind of hoping some of this mossy would be regular, but it... Ooh. If I get too close to that tree, it'll, the spiders will kill us right now. I guess we're just going to have to dig down. I was hoping to find a cave. Hmm. Alright, we'll dig down. I just need a little cobble. Oh, oh hey. I thought it said it wouldn't wasn't expo spawning ores unless it was in exposed areas. That's baffling. Anyway, Get ourselves what we need. 
<gasps> Look guys, we can't make a furnace. I bet it's gated behind um, Tinkers. Let's find out. Yep. Seared for seared bricks, seared stones are furnaces. Okay. So can we do um sometimes there's other options like campfires? Nope. <laughs> Looks like we're eating raw meat. Oh, I guess we could dry it. That might be our option. See? Things we learn. Okay, so, um... Yeah. Was there a slab furnace? Well, no. The only furnace... I'm pretty sure it's gated. And I'm pretty sure you have to do the tinkers. So, no worries. No worries. We just... We'll dry the meat instead of cooking it for now. So, well, you know, what we could do... Let's make our satchel. Oh, I only needed one. Very nice. This dude. We now have a satchel. Yay! Check the quest book. Thanks, one chip Bob. I'm certain that there's a way to do it. Um, we're kind of going directional here. For exploration right now, I want to stick to the three biomes that I've kind of claimed. And I technically don't have claims on all of them, but they're area that I really enjoy and want to build in. One of them being this magical forest. The other is the seasonal forest that we have our little hidey hole in, and then the lush swamp next to it. So, yeah. We're just gonna look around here, see if we can find some bone structures. If they're mentioned in the quest book, I'm going to make an assumption that they've increased their spawning of them so that you don't have to go thousands of blocks to find one. But I could be wrong. <laughs> so. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Look at that overhang. Isn't that cool? That's pretty neat. There's something here. What's this ruin? Look at all the trees! Any cool stuff? Their chest? There's a crafting table. Oh my goodness, guys! <laughs> Woot! I wonder if I'll be able to pick it up. How is it cheating? It's in the world! <laughs> I was kind of hoping to find a chest, but it's looking like that's not the case. Might need these bricks. Alright. Sorry, my phone is not on Do Not Disturb right now. Um, I will have to progress to making a furnace, but I'd like some cooked food right now, so that's what we're using it for. I am tempted to leave it here just because, you know, it would break progression a little bit if I pick it up and use it. What do you guys say? What should I do? Should I leave it here?
Pick it up, finders keepers. <laughs> it's fair game if I can pick it up. And I can. Da da! <laughs> Alright then. Found myself a furnace. Now I just need to find some bones. Alright. Oh, it just gets prettier and prettier. That overhang has a waterfall flowing down, and with the magical forest, the waterfall is real pretty. Uh huh. That was so unexpected. I totally did not expect to find a furnace, guys. That's just really cool. Um, hmm. We might have to get up high and see if we can see anything. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know how we're going to get the bone meal unless I go battling skellies. Battling skellies without armor. Yeah, who uses TeamSpeak anymore? It's all Discord. <laughs> okay, so what is this tower? Anyone hazard a guess? Oh crap, there's there's a zombie spawner in there. Do we want to break spawners right now or do we want to leave them? I'm trying to see if there's any chests. I don't see any. But what's up there? Oh, I'm so curious and this is going to kill me, isn't it? Anything in there? Nothing is here. Um, so we've avoided the zombies that are down there. What's up here? Oh, another spawner. What are you? Are you? Seriously, are you skellies? Why aren't you spawning? Is it two day? Two oh, no, don't want down there. Is that skellies? And why haven't they spawned any? Oh, check it. Um bones. Well, 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 well. Um. <laughs> let's, let's remember this because there are... The, um, we'll have to darken it to get skellies to spawn, but we have 15 bones just from the chest. I don't need all of these Technicolor gla gla glasses, but whatever. Um, I don't think I need a waypoint. It's directly across from my hidey hole. Mm -hmm. But I could see if it's all in one chunk. Oh, it's already in my claimed area. I made a I made a circle or something. Why are you up here claimed? You shouldn't be. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Gotta pay attention to that. Let's see how much uh, we can make with this bit before we need to start making a uh, spawner. A little baby spawner out of that. That's an awesome find though. Skeletons and zombies right there. Other than going into these things. 
um, where's ours? I think it's up a little higher. Okay, we need to put this chest down. Uh, spice of love carrot seems quite generous, is it? We, can, we have got summoning pendulums, which could come in handy. Let's put our little bits of things away. Let's put our magic furnace down. We're going to use it right now just to cook food. Um, I think that's a smart thing to do. All right. Get two extra hearts for every five unique foods. Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we need to do porcelain. We need to do this. Oops. Which the bone meal, I think the only way we have right now to get more is this method. Because that requires quartz. And <laughs> material stats. That's new and very cool. Oh, there's alchemistry in here. I hope I don't have to dig into that very far because I'm I'm not good at it and I forgot to look how much I need to do. Oh, let's We now have a void satchel. Yay. Okay. We need to make 16. So we need 16. We've got 16. We'll need to keep in mind about looking for bone block structures though if we don't want to grind skellies. So this is our next step here. Um, in order to get to the melter. Yep, see we've got furnace all the way over here. Very cool though. Emergency items. Hmm. There's an arcade. These are the different tiers. We are currently 61% with tier 0. Haven't even looked at these other ones. Wah! <sighs> oh. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to to do the chemical-y stuff. Oh well. <laughs> I will force myself to have to learn things I don't want to learn and that's okay. Ooh, we get to do blood magic and there's astral sorcery here. Get to go to space. Draconic evolutions in here. The end. All right. I have no idea what this arcade is. I'll read it in a moment. I don't think anyone likes that chemistry anyway. There's some people that really enjoy the breaking matter down into the chemicals stuff. I just never found an interest in it. And that's okay. So we're, we're back to doing this. We're gonna make the four drawing racks. Um, we need to grab some sand to do these because we need to do um, six of these and two of these. Mm -hmm. Rock counting wasn't actually that. Rock hounding was interesting, and I don't know why rock hounding was interesting, but I found rock hounding to be interesting. Blocks. Another table. We'll put you in there, even though you're not technically blocks. There's our current food. We're gonna put the void chest and void satchel in there right now. And the Akash Akashic Tome. I know I can put this in the Akashic Tome. I'm not gonna do that till I have more books. 
We should um, make some torches. And we should make our bed so that when we die, we don't die back at spawn. And we'll put you there. You set our spawn point. My Akashic Tome should be full of books already. Really? Oh, totally is. So why isn't the quest book in it? scary thing is if you lose this dude. <laughs> um, is this also the quest book? Yeah, see we don't even really need to carry it. We're gonna put the Kashuk Tome in here for now. Um, yeah, just, yeah. It's almost nighttime, isn't it? Nope, oh, Bob slept. Thank you, Bob. Alright, so our goal still is go get some sand. We need lots of sand. That is our next task. Oh, are you watching me, Bob? <laughs> I was like, no one else said thank you. All right. We're always watching you guys. All right. Whoa. Dang it. Can you just eat vanilla raw? Probably not. And you, pr you probably need to process it. At least till lunch. Well, at least for me, for maybe another five minutes or so. I, you know, I'm, I only do um, one hour streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I do have work to do. And I should have just made a shovel because this is going to take forever. Our nasal sorcery? Probably not. It's probably gated, but salt, 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 sand. I can reach really far. I think what we'll do is we'll get a stack here, or you know, over halfway there now, and then um, craft craft up those things for the alloy kiln and um, those porcelain bricks it needs. Yeah. Why not vein mine it? Because apparently vein mine in this pack requires the enchantment. There you go. I just did the enchant. It says you need the excavate modifier or the enchantment on your tool to be able to excavate. So there you go. That's why I'm not vein mining it. <laughs> We almost have a stack, so. Okay, so we have a stack of sand. Yay. Um, so what we need to do, Compressed sand and clay will get one one of the blocks, and we need to do six 
six times nine is way more than a stack. Um, yeah. Because we're going to need to also do the compressed... The, the, we need sandstone to do the alloy kiln, and the alloy kiln requires... Did it say two? I need two of these. Hmm. Alright, so we need... 16 sandstone to do the alloy kiln, and then another almost stack of sand to do... the, um... blocks. So there's our alloy kiln. I'm going to assume that is our first method of um, smelting ores. Perhaps? Ooh! And apparently some deforestation is going on from Owen. Let's collect this. Oh, I broke it. Um, I wonder. I didn't carry any flint with me. I was wondering if I could do just flint for repair in here, if I'm going to need to do repair kits. Oh. Not sure. That's salt. That's salt, that's salt. I don't need salt. Go somewhere else where I don't have to stand underwater to harvest it. That's salt. That looks like salt as well, but uh, yeah. Okay. The amount of mobs underground is pretty scary. Do you salt or are you sand? You are salt. Okay. So the lush swampy area is probably all salt and clay. So we really do need to go to um, the edges of rivers. a little bit more. When we get back, we need to fix our mattock. I wonder if there is a sleeping bag option. I know there are teepees, because Totemic is in the pack. I wonder how hard it is to make a teepee. enough I think oh but we need the clay we need to go back home
Oops. I wanted to click on you. Collect some food items. That's usually that gives you something. From the XL food mods, I am going to stop breaking those. There's a rustic beehive. Made it. All right, so the clay is here. And I completely forgot what it is we're making. We're making limestone bricks. So we need to do this. And so then this and that together gives us six limestone bricks. And now we just need to do the, the trying racks. Um, how many does it want us to do? It wants us to do four. All right. Yay, done. So then we need to learn about doing our very first bit of smelting with the porcelain melter. But that's what we're going to do next time. Um, I am going to probably stream this pack again, maybe even tomorrow night. I remember I used to do Wednesday night streams when Ed went bowling. Well, you know, since the pandemic, there is no bowling and he's not certain that he wants to go bowling, um, at the bowling alley, even if they've started to open them up just because of social distancing and the concerns there. But I kind of miss an evening stream, so I might start doing Wednesday night streams again. So I might be here tomorrow night, but I will definitely be here Thursday morning. And we're going to do a little bit more of this. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be my first uh, foray into a gated pack in a long while. So I hope to see you back here then. Take care, folks, and have a great rest of your Tuesday. Bye!